Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So in this week's vlog in my makeshift office area, which I got a new lamp and desk, so I'm slowly adding on to my um, soon to be office space. Um, but we are going to be painting the office or each offices as well as the main gym space. And then also we are installing floors. So you guys will see the floor installation next week. Um, but let's go ahead and get into today's vlog. So we are on our way to Home Depot today. Um, not Home Depot. Uh, Floor and Decor. Floor and Decor. Yeah. And I still want to go to Lowe's as well to look at the panels. Look at the what? Panels. So, uh, Do you know what they look like? No. Uh, okay. Right. Another trip to Lowe's. <laughs> so Lowe's as well. Also some Starbucks and some breakfast so we can have mommy daddy date this morning. Um, so yeah, this is the first time that we'll actually take you guys with us while we're going to get some supplies this morning. So yep. yeah, our camera's not cooperating because we're moving out <laughs> at the back, um, backing out of the garage. But we will let you guys know once we get to floor and decor because we actually ordered floors. So we're going this morning to pick them up. Super exciting. All right, so this was actually a brand new floor and decor in our area, which was super nice. It was super organized and clean in there. I just really love the, the environment. Um, so I'm looking at a countertop there for my countertop for my built-in in my office. I prefer to have like a more natural tone color. Matt wanted something that was a little bit deeper. So we're just looking at the different countertops. And then also for our um, accent wall that you guys are gonna be seeing really soon. I think it's gonna be in the next, I think two weeks, you'll actually see it. We're going to be doing some form of a faux brick panels um, on one of our, um, or a couple of the accent walls in the basement. Um, so it was really cool to see, like this one was like a thin brick um, set, so it's kind of like where you put mortar on there. So it was just a little bit too in depth of what we were trying to actually accomplish in that space. So it was nice to see what it would look like. And then um, of course, you know, just to see it on, on a full scale. And then so we're just walking through, looking at so many floor options. Um, and this footage was actually taken right before we actually purchased the floors. Um, so we had something in mind of what we wanted. Um, but when it came down to, we saw this great deal, we were like, oh my gosh, like, you know, we need to take advantage of that. But I really wanted something that was like a light wood color tone. Um, something that was totally different from what I have upstairs in some of the areas, which eventually later on in this year, um, we plan on extending the hardwoods that are in our mudroom kitchen in foyer into the entire um, upstairs, except for the bedrooms. Um, I'm still on the debate if I wanna do it within our own owner suite. But this is actually the floor that we decided to go with. Um, it is a nice, I would say like a birch color, um, is the laminate flooring that we went with. And it was 79 cents a square foot, okay? Now, I told Matt that I believe that the um, area was a thousand square feet. We never actually measured, we should have, um, but it actually exceeded that amount. So you'll see, you know, the math most definitely was not mathing. So it was finally time to move on to the paint, but before we get, get to that point, I needed to cut holes uh, where my LEDs were uh, wired up so I could actually pull the wire through to finish installing them. Um, so we're gonna skip back just a little bit. So I have a four inch hole saw that I bought to, to cut the holes for the LED lights. Um, and I wanted to cut down on desks because I had been to Home Depot and Lowe's so many times I was sick of it. I didn't wanna go back so I ended up trying to make uh, like a kind of like a dust bowl, dust cover out of a old cardboard box. Um, it was a good thought I think, but it, it ended up messing up like blocking my whole view so I couldn't actually see. Uh, when I was starting to cut the hole. So I think I used it once and then ended up throwing it to the side and just getting covered in dust. Eh, I was already dirty enough anyway, so oh well. So the reason I knew where the lights were um, is because I put tape on the floor before we did drywall. Um, so I can kind of like get a rough idea of where they were. Um, and then from there, I just kind of, you know, went straight up to the ceiling and made my marks. 
So how I got it set up, but you could probably see the laser on the ceiling. Um, I used the laser tool to give me the line straight down the hallway and then just kind of made sure that it looked like it was straight going down that, that little entryway or foyer. Um, and then from there, I made the, the opposite lines uh, from the wall at the same distance all the way down. Um, so what they did, did is basically it gave me like an X. Um, so where those lines crossed is where I knew I needed to cut my hole and that helped me a lot to keep everything straight. So we successfully pulled down our first light and got it hooked up and everything still works, thankfully. Um, so yeah, I, I'm glad I had everything marked out on the floor um, in the right spot so I didn't you know, drill any unnecessary holes. So I basically just rinsed and repeated um, at all the spots that I had marked uh, before and yeah, got every, all the wires pulled down and ready to go. So after we primed, I went ahead and hooked those lights up and you guys will see that later on in this video. Now once all the holes were drilled, it was time to start that priming process. And I think this was one of my favorite parts of the project because it really started to take shape as far as what the space was gonna look like and all of the hard work that we had put into it. Um, so we made sure to get all, um, I would say in our, um, what's that show that Matt was watching? Breaking Bad uniform. <laughs> and we put on all of our gear and decided to go ahead and spray it. Um, of course, I think Matt went over that we purchased a new sprayer, so it's with Graco. This is not sponsored whatsoever. Um, we decided to go ahead and invest in that piece so then that way we can use it at another project when we buy our forever home. Um, so yeah, so we're just working on this and priming it and the walls look so great. At this point, when you're starting to prime, we can tell, um, or we can tell when there were some areas that we needed to really work on a little bit more. Um, so we were able to do that as well. So it was tricky trying to get some type of footage in Matt's um, office because he wanted to go with a black. And anytime that you're trying to film, that's why there's not so many um, videos on YouTube of filming while painting because with a sprayer, that gets everywhere. So um, again, we were just Matt spraying his wall. He decided to use this color called Black by Bayer and it's in a matte finish. Okay, so Matt and I um, actually thought and said, hey, we never really showed them the layout of the, um, well, basement extension is what we're calling it. So let's go ahead and take a little mini tour. So coming this way is the main walkway. And as of right now, the walls that are already painted are just these ones here that you see. This is extra white. It's the same paint color that's in the rest of our home. Um, it's actually a really good white, so we just decided to stay with that same kind of color scheme. Um, of course, this wall is not done, it's just primed, uh, or not even primed actually, it's just the drywall because we're gonna have a really cool accent wall that goes on this main wall, as well as that back wall as well. We'll be sure sure to share with that share that project you know, later on in the vlog series. Um, but as of right now, we're still fine tweaking that um, ideal. So coming to this space is the main gym area. Of course, this will not stay here. This is gonna be moved over to this side of the gym. Still considering if we're gonna get something new because it did get a little, take a little beating um, during this whole process because we weren't really able to put it anywhere else and kind of had to work around it. Um, but coming over on this area here is the entrance into Matt's office. And so he's behind the camera, but he's gonna tell you a little bit about his office. So it was a little bit dramatic and I got a little bit of pushback from a couple of people that we talked to about going all black in a small space, including my son Jalen. <laughs> he thought it was going to be like super dark and depressing, but um, I, it was what I wanted. So I ended up doing everything in black from Bear, um, including the ceiling. And I think it looks pretty cool. So we have some leftover wall planks uh, from our media space accent wall. Um, where I'm going to do kind of like a kind of like a stripe that goes up the wall and if I have enough I'll go across the ceiling so it'll just be like an L stripe 
Um, that'll bring in some light wood tones. Um, we have the outlet up here already. So I'm gonna have my TV here, a built-in on each side, and my desk going all the way across. So over here should be... Room enough for some accent chairs and maybe a plant here to lighten up the space as well. Yeah. Um, but basically his office is just that really masculine vibe that he was going for. Um, I never doubted the black. I just felt like maybe, you know, the room was a little bit smaller. And technically we could have made this office a lot bigger, but we decided um, that was something that we realized after the fact when it was framed, we actually had a lot more room in the unfinished storage. So that's just lesson learned for next time. If we were to rebuild this, that's something that we would have changed. Yeah, we could show them real quick. Um, so if we were gonna put the door where, right here? Yes. So right next to my here, office. Here, and I thought, like, it's gonna look weird. It's too yeah, because coming from in coming from the entrance into here i didn't you know we didn't want to have two doors right next to each other because it would just look a little crazy yeah um so we decided to move the door here when we when you guys saw us put the the wall up in the framing video mm -hmm. um and this is how much space we have <laughs> um so we have two 50 gallon water heaters um our internet is back here mm -hmm. so we got to clean all this stuff up but it's a it's a pretty good amount of space. Um, so the two LEDs that we put in um, give it way more light than we had before. Um, so it goes a little bit around the corner, and that's the back of my office. So we still have access to the the main water shut off, um, you know, and plenty of room to kind of just keep stuff stored. So this would be a whole another project that we'll have to tackle and get organized. But for now, it's a pretty good amount of space. So I think we get it. I think we did a good job with that. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's pretty dangerous in here. <laughs> so I don't really let the kids come down here yet because there's stuff everywhere. But yeah, that area um, is completely not usable. We can't really like, walk in there to do anything. Um, but it will be uh, revamped and Matt's gonna build some storage for us and we'll make it all nice and functional. Um, so that way this space really truly looks like a nice addition, but also just feels like it was meant to be in the house as well. That was the main thing for us. Um, but yeah, so on this wall here will be a TV so the girls can do some yoga and some fitness videos because they really love doing that. Um, and then again, it'll be a nice, beautiful accent wall on this wall, this wall, and half of that wall over there. Um, that's going to be a project big undertaking because this is a huge wall, as well as down here in our basement, our ceilings are still nine feet tall as well, so it's a lot of work. So yeah. coming over into... You guys get to see the lights. Um, so this is what they look like installed. Um, they came out really good. They are pretty bright, so that's good. Um, but we, we hooked them up to a dimmer. You want to show them real quick? Yeah. So they are hooked up to a dimmer. Um, so we can kind of, you know, tone it down if you want to have like a, <laughs> a romantic workout or something. <laughs> anyway, so coming over to our office or my office space here. Um, let me turn back up the lights here. And I love it because it's just, you can glide your finger on there. Like, I love that. It's made by, what is it? Um, Lutron, I think. Yeah, Lutron. It was a $40 switch, but totally worth it, though, <laughs> to me. Um, and so here will be some French doors that I actually ordered today. They came finally back in stock with Lowe's. They're going to be unfinished, so I do need to paint them. But I'd rather do that than pay an additional amount because I feel like the primed doors that were already painted white were $1,000, and I bought mine for $354 and paid for delivery an extra $79, so out the door was four fifty eight. so I can't really um, fight that at all. And so again, coming into my office space here, the color I have changed so many times. Um, at first, I was gonna go with this color here, which is called Whipped Cream, and that was gonna be the entire office, um, but I felt like this color was too matchy-matchy with the extra white that was in the remaining portion of the basement. So I ended up going with Bayer's color of the year for 2023, which is um, blank canvas. And I had seen this color before and I had showed Matt and I was like, it looks so pretty. But also like when you're looking online, you really can't get the full grasp of what a color is supposed to be. I think my take back on it was, or push back on it was, it looked a little creamy and I didn't know if that was the concept I wanted to go. But because everything else in my office is gonna be pretty much white, neutrals, um, I wanted to warm it up a little bit. So I did go with the, uh, the blank canvas and I absolutely love it. It took a while for me to get used to it. It looks more warm here because of the color. Like this light is completely wrong um, for the space. So of course, for me, 
in this office, I know that I'll have to go with like a soft white, not a warm white, because it does pull more of a beige color tone, um, depending on the light that you have. So um, with this one, I thought that it was great. This will actually now be an accent wall. It'll be a gallery wall. But you guys will see later on that I'll actually attempt to do on my own. I'm still thinking of the um, how I what type of app belt board, what type of board and bag and accent wall that I actually want for this wall. So that'll be there. And then Matt and his mom one in my coffee bar will be on that back wall there. So yeah, so it's coming along nicely. Um, I can't wait to be in this space. I've already purchased a lot of things for it. I'm just waiting to actually get in here, but my built-in will go here as well. And um, I've actually, that's one thing though that I do know what, how it will look. And I have already um, narrowed down the design on it. And I can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna be something that I haven't seen anyone do. Um, so I can't wait for it. I'm super excited, so yeah. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Play. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, share it with a friend, and we'll see you guys next week. We gotta get ready for flooring, and um, hopefully our knees won't be too bad, but we'll go ahead and get into it. Bye, guys.